Monica, we just learned moments ago that two pictures of collages were shared with school administrators this afternoon by students with female students fully clothed in them. The photos were not taken on school grounds and were shared on Snapchat. The school says two students received these images and up to five of them shared them without the female students in the photos consent. We also know now that it was one student who the superintendent today called brave that first reported this incident to school staff. Yesterday, the principal sent a note to the community alleging a group of students were secretly taking explicit photos of girls' body parts, sharing them, giving them a grade, and making trading cards with that information. But tonight we've learned the superintendent says there's no evidence of this. He's encouraging parents to speak with their kids at home tonight about consent and privacy, but also says the school is providing counseling support. Some experts say bringing in professionals to help facilitate tough conversations about sexual harassment could help students through all of this. That might even involve something like bringing in prevention education that focuses on healthy relationships and building a culture of respect in an age appropriate way with students that can help reframe some of these conversations where we're not victim blaming, we're not spreading hurtful rumors and gossip about students. And Bedford school leaders say the entire student body has been cooperative in their investigation into all of this. They say they'll be meeting with class officers Monday morning at 730 to discuss how to move forward and create a safe environment for all students on campus. We're live in Bedford tonight. Imani Fleming, WMUR News 9.